This is the spot, and this is the location. The state of the art, Stoker Stadium. This is where you'll see hits, where you'll see highlights, touchdowns, big plays. On Saturday, right here on this field, college football returns. We know the Mavs are ready, and you know those Javelinas will be ready. You can bet us at KREX5 will be ready. The only question is, are you ready? That's right, CMU football returns this week. It's a date with Texas A&M Kingsville. You know those Mavs are ready to roll. We'll be ready, man. We'll be lit. We're going to be live, man. We're going to have the whole city Grand Junction behind us. Week one is here, Saturday, 1 p.m. Grand Junction going to be behind us. We lit, man. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Well, they better be ready because they're playing a Javelinas team that started hot last year, winning their first seven games. You know, they're big and athletic, and they do a lot of good things, so it's going to be a big challenge for us come Saturday. We're going to see a big athletic team that's going to come in. They're going to think they're going to roll us over, so we got to show up. These guys got to show up, play after play, hit them in the face, and keep getting after them. They're athletic, man. They, they have great athletes. They have some big boys on their team. Um, you know, we're, we're hoping we can just run our game, hopefully make them – you know, get involved in our game. They're very athletic, got a really good D-line, uh, got got some good DBs, so it's definitely going to be a challenge. Uh, no walking apart. We just got to be mentally and physically prepared on Saturday. Well, they're certainly working hard at being just that. This Mavs team does not look like the same one we saw at practice two weeks ago. It's a different team, and from the O-line to the quarterback room to the receiver room, it's a completely different team. We start to build on the consistency, put it together every single day. We've had some ups and downs, but guys regrouping, gathering, moving on to the next play. we got to learn how to deal with the highs and the lows and the adversity, and we put them in those situations during camp. So we're just watching those guys respond and get better each day has been big. What our coaches are doing with us, uh, they're instilling faith and trust in us, which I think is helping the players grow and develop as players. And I also think the game plan we got, man, the coaches just believe in us and they're going to allow us to go out there and make plays. So it really comes down to, like I said, preparation and being ready to make plays for the team. And I think coaches, Coach K, Coach Nell, and our defensive staff has put guys in position to be great. And more than anything, after such a long time away from the game, the Mavs are just happy to finally get back on the field. It's been a long time coming, man. We had a, we've been sick to our stomach since we ended last year, and um, these guys have carried that over into our spring training and then our winter conditioning and then throughout the summer. So now to just let it get out there and go and play, um, it's just going to be awesome. We've been waiting a long time for this. I, I, you know, We were watching film Friday night, and I, I realized I was getting a little antsy was hoping that we played last Saturday, but, you know, getting excited, getting excited. And if you ask quarterback Leslie Richardson about this Mavs offense, he'll tell you to watch it out. I'm going to always take my guys over everybody else's guys, man. Uh, I think we got we got a good old line. Coach Wick has been really working with our guys to get them prepared. Uh, seeing different fronts in practice, uh, you know, we've been working really hard in scouts. Uh, Coach Holmes, Coach Hill, they've been getting our receivers right. We're getting, the chemistry's getting down. Man, we, we got some really good receivers out there. And then, yeah, man, Coach Schultz, we've got the running backs. We can, we can run the ball, too. I think that's what's going to be so dangerous about our team, man. We can, we can run the ball just as good as we can pass the ball, man. I think it's, we're going to be a dual-threat team. Well, whether on the air or through the ground, only one thing matters to these Mesa Mavericks. Beat Kingsville. That's, that's all that's going to be going through my mind.